I think that you should just wear makeup where you need it because your skin needs to breathe. We've been wearing foundation all over our faces for so long that nobody knows how to do it any differently. But what I made was a product called Hide and Highlight. Hide and Highlight has two oil-free makeups that you can mix together or wear apart to do two things. Hide what you want to hide, but then also highlight the areas on our own face that have shadows on it. Now most of the shadowy area or the problem area on our faces are right down the center. So the first thing you're going to do with your hide and highlight, remember you've got two oil-free makeups, two different colors, and then one concealer that's got eye cream in it for around the delicate tissue of the eyes. So take your brush, and if you have to use a sponge, you can use a sponge, and you're just going to mix between the two. You need a tiny, tiny amount. If, you are, if it is leaving splotches on your face, you're using too much. But what I do is the first thing I do is cover the ruddiness in my chin. See how I'm just flitting this on my skin? Now, my mouth casts natural shadows down here too. So I just lighten that up a little bit. It shouldn't take you more than five minutes to do your whole face. And that's even if you're doing your entire face. Now, I have a little blemish right here. Watch how I can make it disappear. Disappear. Bye-bye. So anywhere that you've got broken capillaries like I do around my nose, darkness from a pregnancy mask, which I have above my top lip, I also have some pregnancy mask issues on my cheekbone. My brother pointed it out the other day. And I said, I had two kids. Of course I have a pregnancy mask. And then I said, haven't you ever seen my before picture? <laughs> so cover it up and blend as you go. Pimples, broken capillaries, anything you have, you can cover up in seconds. <laughs> a lot of times we have readiness between our eyes. Watch this. Two seconds, it's gone. And if you've got any age spots on your forehead, like I do, really easy. Now, the creamy concealer part on the upper, upper left hand side is what you use for around your eyes. All I do is take the brush and tap, 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 tap. See that? Let me show you on the other side. Tap, 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 tap. That way you're getting the inner corner where there's always a lot of shadowing. And then there we go. The most important thing that you want to do is make sure you blend. And remember, you don't need very much. I know some people think that when you're using a tiny amount of prep product, it couldn't possibly be working. But let's go over all the things that I said I had issues with. I talked about the ruddiness on my chin, no more. Broken capillaries on my nose, dark circles under my eyes, pregnancy mask. They're all covered. And it took me only about two and a half minutes. You can do this at home. Everyone should be using Hide and Highlight because the best part is that you're done. It lasts all day, it doesn't separate, and your skin can breathe. What's better than that?